Hey Fragrance Family, I'm Daver and I'm a Fragrance Bro. Coming at you this time again with Dave's bookshelf book reviews. This time on The Emperor of Scent by Chandler Burr. Now about the author. Chandler Burr uh, is currently curator of perfume art in New York City. He used to be a fragrance reviewer for the New York Times and of course he wrote The Emperor of Scent and The Perfect Scent. So he has a lot of experience writing, he has a lot of experience with fragrance, and this is, I think, from what I understand, his kind of entryway into the fragrance world. What is this book about? Well, this book is about Luca Turin. Luca Turin is a scientist who popularized the vibrational theory of olfaction, meaning that there are two different theories of olfaction out there now, uh, currently. One is very popular and one is not so popular. <laughs> The very, very popular one that most scientists adhere to is, the, is shape theory, basically key in a lock. So what they're saying is, is there is a molecule that floats by, it hits your nose, and it fits a particular shape of a receptor in your nose, like a key in a lock, and it sends a message to your brain saying, oh, that smells like charcoal, that smells like lily, that smells like rotten eggs, that smells like oak. Vibrational theory is different. Vibrational theory says that your nose is like a, uh, a spectroscope and it senses the vibrations of molecules. It, it molecule will land on this receptor and then it'll, it'll sense the vibration of the molecule and send a message to your brain that says it smells like rotten eggs, that smells like oak, etc. Now although this is about Luca Turin and his theory of vibrational olfaction, it really is more about the scientific peer review process, I think. And that to me is very, very interesting because it really strikes me as strange as how, that, how scientists are very cliquish, it seems, with new theories. That you have to have a, if you have a theory, you have to go the proper routes, you have to have the proper pedigree, you have to have it peer reviewed by the proper people, etc. You can't just come across, even if you have the pedigree, even if you have the training, even if you have the evidence, you can't come across and present a theory and have it accepted by the general scientific uh, community, which is very strange. Because in this book, as you'll, you'll read, Luca Turin had a lot of things going for his theory, but it was rejected. He was kind of a lone ranger of sorts for vibrational theory accessibility for reading. I think this is one of the easiest books to read. It comes across very accessible, it flows very smoothly. Chandler Burr is an amazing writer and he comes across with a very clean, polished, journalistic approach. Uh, and also funny and entertaining in some parts too. But he really brings it across as a story and it's, it's engaging and very, very fun to read. I mean, it's page turning. You'll read it and you'll find, you know, 60 pages later and be like, oh my gosh, I just read 60 pages in a blink of an eye. I mean, it's just, you just sit there and want to read the whole thing. The only thing that I will say about the reading part is that it's kind of science heavy in parts. So, and I can't really fault it for that because it's about a scientist and it's about his scientific theory. But you might want to know that ahead of time. So there are some things that, you know, because I'm not a scientist, I'm not trained in in this type of biology or anything, it you know it was kind of hard to wrap my mind around some of these things a couple of times, uh, but overall I think it was it was very very good to read. Who is this book for? I think this book is for really anyone who wants a good read. If you don't even have to be a fragrance lover in general, really, because this book is not really about fragrances. This is about the sense of smell and what that even is, and it's more about the the person who is popularizing a different a rebel a rebel who is popularizing a different theory of olfaction out there what are my thoughts I really loved it obviously it's a great book um, a page turner loved it loved every minute of it one thing that I do have against it though is something that I cannot blame Chandler Burr for it's not exactly his fault is that the book starts with you know Luca Turin's start in this whole process and ends 
current day. So current day means that nothing really has resolved. You know, there's no triumphant conclusion. There's no happy or sad ending, really. It's just a to-be-continued of sorts. And maybe one day, years down the road, whatever, if the theory gets accepted, then Luke Turner will be a hero. But, you know, it's a biography without a conclusion. And yeah, I just have to kind of know that in advance. So, but at the same time, the book is not about the end. The book is about the journey. The book is a quest. So just enjoy the journey while you read it. I think it's a great book, great quest material, you know, great all overall. Final rating, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Really, really loved this. Uh, it was, I found it really, really enjoyable. It's one of those books where I probably can't give it a perfect five just because of, you know, it didn't really have a, a didn't really have a conclusion per se, but at the end, I really enjoyed reading it and I really highly recommend it to all of you. So that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read the book, uh, Emperor of Scent, and what you think down in the comments down below. Of course, like the video if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.